What do we have? Jesus. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Please, if you are giving them a round of applause, you can do better. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you. All right. All right, we have the families. The families of the other boy will be taking pictures right now. All family members, please kindly join them while we do the pictures. I'll leave you in the hands of the beautiful music share. Let's go one time. Give them. I want to follow Jesus, oh Lord. Oroka Jesus, la fili reba. Lawa baba eshe. I want to follow Jesus, oh Lord. Oroka Jesus, la fili reba. Lawa baba. I want to follow Jesus, oh Lord. Oroka Jesus, la fili reba. Lawa baba eshe. All LSC pastors, please come and join our Father in the Lord to take pictures. All LSC pastors, please. All LSC pastors. For the pictures I need right now. All pastors for the bridge. All pastors from the bridge, please come forward to take pictures. Mrs. Oregeli, your attention is needed. We lift the name of Jesus. For 40 years of 
God's kindness. Oh, Mrs. Oradele, please join us. All pastors from the bridge, please. We're having our guests take pictures. You are great, yes, you are. Only one. You walked upon the sea, Jesus, you raised the dead. That's right. You raised in majesty, yeah. mighty God. Oh. Everything written in the power of you is great. He beats him more like so. Our Malay, children of the house. Everybody say, what a mighty God we say. Our Malay, children of the house. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you. The children of the house. Lift our hands to say. You'll be going next. You are great. We worship you today. You are great. Everything written about you is great. So we pray you are great. Dollars, please come for pictures. The armor dollars, please come for pictures. Baby, you too, baby, baby. You are too 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself for coming. Celebrate yourself for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Why is it that in this part of the world, we need to coerce people before they can do stuff? So is it until I tell you that you should clap the number of years you want to live on earth before you clap? If you want me to, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, clap the number of years you want to live on earth then. If that will take you to celebrate yourself, give yourself a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor having each and every one of you in house here. We understand how important this um, event is, and we don't take it for granted. All protocols are well and duly observed. I want to say thank you for coming. On behalf of Pastor Lake Adeboy, I want to say welcome once again. My name is MC Jesse. They call me the Spice of Event. And I'll be your host and guide for the next few minutes. If you love me, please celebrate yourself too. Celebrate yourself if you love me. All right. Do we have members of LSC The Bridge in the house? Members of LSC The Bridge, let me hear a shout hallelujah. We are still sleeping. We are still sleeping. All right. We're moving straight um, into the event proper. And we're going to be starting by um, a quick introduction that will be done by the media. We're going to be starting with the brief introduction that will be done by media. Please, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we want you to listen attentively, your eyes locked on the screen, while we take you through a quick journey of our dear, beloved pastor. Ladies. All right, so, and we'll be having the goodwill message. That will be the video that is going to be coming up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the session.
So many things that um, I, I wouldn't have been able to do um, without the help of God through you. So thank you so very much, Pastor Vicky. I know you with everything. We rejoice with you, our brother. We thank God for your life. And we pray for you today that the hand of the Lord will keep you. You will live long. You will fulfill purpose. We establish God's divine counsel. The purpose of God for your life shall be fully established. 40 is a very strong prophetic number. Jesus fasted for 40 days. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days. It rained 40 days and 40 nights with no and no out. And every time those days were ended, something new happened. I pray for you, sir. May this landmark day mark a new beginning in your life. 40 is the number of generations. May you affect your generation.
God bless you. We thank God for what you are doing among the youth in the Redeeming Church of God and in the body of Christ at large, internationally, particularly in Nigeria. You have taken uh, the burden of that work upon yourself and it shows a high degree of commitment, understanding, and also passion in executing that which God has placed in your hands. We are proud of what you are doing in the body of Christ and we will believe that greater years lie ahead. The Lord is with me, with you. I cannot doubt that. Let me tell you, you have been an amazing person to me and I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you. He will make his foot to shine upon you. The Lord will be gracious unto you. He will never leave you, he will never forsake you. Isaiah 52, 58 verse 12, you are a repairer of the bridge. The ancient ruins will have to be rebuilt, and you are inspiring a generation in the Renewed Christian Church of God and beyond to do that. You are a leader, and we will celebrate you, both now and in the future. Well, good. It feels so good. So thank God. Ensure that you achieve all what God has proposed to do. All your days, my days, not just my days today, but also my days today. Achieve all your days. Achieve all your days. Your days. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying that, please a round of applause, a round of applause. You can do better. You can do better, ladies and gentlemen.
Awesome. While we have that on camera, we're still going to be taking some amazing, amazing testifiers in house. But before we do that, I would like to call on our Father, um, our Father in the Lord, to give us the fatherly blessing. It's no other person than the Assistant General Overseer Admin, Continental Overseer Middle East, and person of no other person. Please, a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, with a standing ovation. Join me as I welcome, welcome our Father. Daddy Odeshola, please a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Please uh, take your seat. Um, as I was uh, rising from my chair, the home director and the um, instructor from the home front, we are with Tabernacle for many, many hours, told me, don't just go there and pray. Say one or two things. So I want to say one or two things. Maybe not to preach another sermon, um, but just a, a word of advice. The Bible said in that um, Psalm 90 verse 12, Psalm 90 verse 12, he said, teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart to wisdom. How do we apply our heart to wisdom? Let me throw out five things and I will pray. One, just be yourself. Be yourself. If you, you are not yourself, who do you want to be? Now, if you are not yourself, who do you want to be? Just be yourself. Enjoy the way God has made you. Enjoy everything about your life. Just be yourself. The Bible said, I can't quote correctly now, where he said, Ethiopian woman cannot change her skin. You are just who God says you are. The Bible said in Psalm 139 verse 14, Psalm 139 verse 14, you are wonderfully and fearfully made. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, Genesis 1.28, it said, you are blessed, so just be yourself. That's one. Two, find something to offer. Now you have climbed another level of 40. Improve, increase the level of what you offer. If you don't have anything to offer, then you should be treated as an orphan. But you are not. not you are not. God is your father. He's your mother. So, find something to offer. And God has loaded you with talent. The word says in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 and 5. Jeremiah 1 4 and 5 he said, The word of the Lord came unto me saying, Before you are conceived, because you are elsewhere before you came. Now God has ordained you a prophet, not just a local prophet. Thank God for what they have said about you. Thank God for RCCG. But you are a global phenomenon. He said, I have ordained you as a prophet to nations. So, find something to offer. Keep upgrading what you have. Number three, please close the chapter of the past. Yesterday ended last night. In uh, Isaiah chapter 43, 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 said, Remember ye not the past thing. And he said, I will do a new thing. You are now in a new level. And God has determined to do a new thing. What you term as failure before you attend it, now God can turn it around. So, what I'm saying is that close the chapter of yesterday. Number four, Please, don't take criticism personally. The critics, when you are going, they say you are not on the right path. When they know that you are on the right path, they say be careful. There are obstacles on the way. When you cross the obstacle, they tell you there is still a pit. When you arrive, they say, hooray, we supported you. So, each time they say something negative, don't take it personally. Use that as a lifter to improve what you are doing. Please, 
you need to take note of that. And lastly, before I pray, love We always prevail. It is not tongues. It is not miracle. That popular passage in the Bible, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, reading from verses 1 to 8, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 to 8, he said, if I have gift of tongues, I have this, I have no love. Let that be the thing you do. Jesus said the mark of discipleship is love. He said by this, people will know you are my disciple when you love one another. Are you sure you will not be hurt? Many people will hurt you. They will say something that will irritate you. But in spite and despite of whatever anyone might say, you still need to continue to love. Because God your father is love. Jeremiah 31 3. Jeremiah 31 3 he said he loves you with an everlasting love. His love. 1 John 3 1 to 3. Behold, what manner of love God has loved us. He loved. So, and like father, like son. It's my prayer on this occasion that you are celebrating. You will use this occasion as a lifter to the next level. And for everyone who have come to celebrate, God's grace will multiply into your life and you will continue to have occasion to celebrate in the name of Jesus and men and women will come to celebrate you shall we pray father we thank you for the celebrants and the, ex and the family and the extended family we worship your name for all the prayers that have been offered by a father in the Lord, the headman of this particular church, and our mommy, the co pilots, shipping and uh, moving the jet of RCCG. Thank you for all the supporters in the, in the same jet. Lord Almighty, we say thank you. Thank you for the prayers that have been offered in this house today, and those who have been offered elsewhere. The one that offered that we are watching even on the goodwill messages. We ask, oh God, that all the prayers over you, man of God, God will answer in the name of Jesus. Now, I pray that even as people are saying amen with you, God will multiply your blessings. I ask, oh God of heaven, God will move you from glory to glory. From honor to honor. Those things that slow down progress of people on the way like the sing praises or the praise of men they will not slow you down your focus will not be shifted the lord will perfect your health the lord will bless the work of your hand if people thought you have achieved this year this particular 40 years in another one year your achievement in one year will surpass all the one you achieved in the last 40 years in the name of Jesus. I pray today, joining my faith and my voice, my voice with the voices of the people in this house, that great blessing God will release upon you, upon your family, upon your children, upon your sibling, upon your parent, and upon what you represent in life. And everyone here that is saying amen, God will double the prayer and give you back your portion. And Lord, as we all travel on the road to the kingdom of heaven, we will not miss it. We will reign eternally with the Lord. Even in the process of this celebration, someone here will receive their miracle. Miracle of joy, miracle of marriage, childbearing, lifting, spirituality, expression of potential. So shall it be. Thank you, great God. In Jesus' most blessed name we pray. Ladies and gentlemen, please, you can give him a round of applause. Thank you, sir, for that powerful one. So I, I believe uh, a lot of us were busy with our food while our, our daddy was speaking. He talked about five things, five important things. And number one, he said, be yourself, very importantly. Secondly, he said, find something to offer. So should in case you are not offering anything, make sure you find something to offer, very importantly. He also talked about closing the chapter of the past 
also don't take criticism personally and he talked about love that love will always prevail ladies and gentlemen a quick information from the hospitality team i'm being made to announce to you that the food will be served table by tables and it's going to get to everyone so just sit back relax and enjoy the food will get to you thank you once again all right without wasting much of our time we are moving on quickly because this is a very short service it's a very short service and we'll be taking um, testimon um, testifiers for people who have worked personally with um, PLE, Pastor Leke Adiboye, we'll be having a few of them come and speak for two minutes each while we um, close the segment. So the, pers the first person I'll be calling is not the person than Pastor Omar Jola. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes forward, please. Celebrate him. I know your hands are busy, but celebrate him. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here. And um, I'm saying happy birthday once again to Pastor Leke. I'm saying, Daddy, thank you so much for that word. Um, it was short and filled with notes for me. Um, to the business of the day, I was told I would be speaking about Pastor Leke. And, um, you know, with Pastor Leke, I think I wear different hats. Uh, maybe I'll speak first from the heart of um, a brother is invited to speak with his ministers a couple of times, which is more important to me anyway. Uh, <laughs> and um, <laughs> Thank you, sir. And um, I think there have been two of those sessions, and they've been very wonderful. Um, beyond the fact that the ministers are sitting and listening, he himself, he sits, he takes notes, and then he, con he contacts me somewhat later to say, discuss one or two other things. And from something I've learned about leadership is, if you see something going not so right, look to the leader. Look to see how the leader is. And if you see something going excellently as well, look to see how the leader is. Um, from those sessions, I could see and I could tell that the Lord is building a great army to, through you. And I pray that that army will continue to grow in Jesus' name. Now, for the other art, as an in-love, I like the way you put it, <laughs> as an in-love, um, from get-go, from the time we've ever met, um, it's always been, we've always, I don't know, yourself and, and I mean, uh, probably mentioned Pastor D, there's always a hug there, you know, that's always been, there's always a hug and very warm, and I say thank you for showing me that much love, and thank you for being that vibrant person. With Pastor Leke, um, you know, the kind of energy he comes with. Remember the time we rode, we did that marathon bike ride inside Redemption Camp. We started from, I think we started from Ring Road, and then we went on the express. I didn't tell my wife I was going to do that. <laughs> and then went on the express and rode all the way down through Capaxi to come in. And I was watching how he was going. At the point, I got tired. But I said, if somebody of this size can keep going on, then what's my excuse? You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's been wonderful knowing him, and I pray that the Almighty God will continue to increase his grace upon him and the family, and I might pray that as we continue to watch as you grow, we will have great things to celebrate God for in your life, in Jesus' name. And finally, I'd like to say that there are so many eyes on you, there are so many expectations of you, um, people are doing comparisons and all that, and I believe that the word that Daddy came to say um, I believe that word was really for you and for us all. That yes, there's a person who, there's a way God has made you. We will continue to improve and enhance, but we shouldn't be shaped or moved away from that because of people's opinion. Yes, we can get better, we improve from where we're coming from. But I think that word, we should hold on to it. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Quickly, I would like to call on Miss Marvin Azeta to take our good women. Please celebrate her as she comes forward. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Daddy, Mommy, and all my brothers and sisters in the room. Um, a very happy birthday to my big brother. I've always called him Big Brother. I've known Pastor Leke for as long as PSF. And over this time, I've been incredibly blessed to enjoy some of his wisdom to enjoy his love, 
and support in so many ways. I can't even name them today because we won't live here if I start. So I'm just going to pray for him. I pray that God will lavish you with good things. And my prayer is taken from Deuteronomy 28. He will give you a lot of children from your womb, offspring from your animals, crops from your land, the land that God promised your ancestors that he will give to you. God will throw open the heavens of the sky vaults and pour rain on your land. That rain of yesterday was a small thing. It will pour more for you. He will pour that rain on your land, on your schedule. It will bless every work that you take in your hand. You will lend to many nations, but you yourself won't have to take out a loan. God will make you the head always and never the tail. You will always be the top dog, never the bottom dog. As you obediently listen and diligently keep the commands of God, even your God, God will take psychophants away from you and give you a tribe that truly supports and advances every course that you choose to pursue. I love you so much, Pastor Lake. Keep shining. Keep thriving. Just keep going. God bless you. Thank you for that. Thank you. All right. We're going to take um, quickly for the next two minutes, um, Pastor Adeola Abolaji, quickly. A round of applause for him as he comes forward. All right, while he waits, we have a very, very special, special, special entry. Ladies and gentlemen, please, with a round of applause, join me as I welcome one and only Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. Your name is to be hallowed. Ah, the no, no. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the day, your name is to be hallowed. Ah, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same in your life, his name will be hallowed. And is your God from beginning to there's no place for argument. He's your God all by himself. He's your God. I declare that. He's your God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. He's your God all by Yourself. I'm just singing over you, man of God. He's got your times and seasons in his hands. He called for light out of every darkness. He doesn't need a man. Be the God He is, and He has chosen to call you Lake Adeboe, His own. He's your God, eh? He's your God from beginning to. We declare it in your life. There's no place for. Argument or accident is your God all by yourself. He is your God, He is your God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. 
just one more before I leave and just blow the trumpet over you. I know a God whose mercy fall and kind, faithful and gracious. You're the apple of his eyes, the thought that fills his heart every morning, noon, and night. He loved you when you didn't care about him. But was patient till you came Running back into his arms Look how he has turned your life around Made you a shining light His glory to reveal I will worship I will worship Forever Love you Forever this God is too I will worship I will worship forever love you forever because happy birthday to you man of God 40 is a very prophetic number Jesus fasted for 40 days he reigned for 40 days Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and something happens every time 40 you know is accomplished he came with the law as I blow the trumpet four times I declare that the new beginnings in your life that I has not seen he has not heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the thing that God is set to do in your life in Jesus name amen please join me as when you hear every sound of the trumpet you Holla, hallelujah, amen. Band B flat. Ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Please, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate God in his life. Celebrate him. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate you. May the Lord bless your ministry in the name of Jesus. Thank you. That was a powerful one. That was a powerful one. Thank you, sir. Please, we can have our seats while we move on. As I call on our pastor, as I call on our pastor to take his testimony, please let the music minister get set. We'll be moving into the music ministry very, very, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, have you been enjoying yourself so far? I can hear, I understand your mouths are busy right now. I do understand. But please do make sure you're enjoying yourself. All right, while this is going on, can we, have, can we have soft music while this is going on? Before we move on to the other testifiers, then we close this session. All right. We're going to do this for like five minutes, then we'll move on, then we'll come back to music fully. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah.
Ladies and gentlemen, for those of us who have gifts in house, please arrange them. We'll be calling you out to present them very soon. For those of us who came with gifts, please do well to drop them before you leave. It's very important.
As much as possible. Let's go. Take me. Don't try. Take me. Come on. Make it free. 
Why we wait for the celebrant? For those of us who come bearing gifts, please organize them. We'll be calling forward very soon to present your gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know, we are celebrating a wonderful man, a man of Timber and Calibab, a man of our intellectual sagacity, a father, a pastor, a brother, a friend, a husband, a great man of God. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello, Try me. As we celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if your hands are not too busy, if your hands are not too busy, I want you to join me once again as we celebrate a man of timber and caliber, a man of our intellectual sagacity, a father, a brother, a husband, a great man of God, a giver, a philanthropist, a man that gives and not look there. Like Bleach will say, the one that gives people water, that they don't have water, is the, is the pumping machine for people that do not have water. Is the ATM for people that do not have money, in case you don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, join me with a wonderful, a resounding round of applause. As we celebrate our father in person of Pastor Lake Adebo, please celebrate him, ladies and gentlemen. If you answer not too busy, you can celebrate him. We are we have presentation of gift going on. Quickly, I'd like to call on Pastor Adeola Bolaji quickly for two minutes to come and give his testimony quickly. Please join me as a welcome, Pastor Adiola Abolaji. Quickly, he's going to do this for two minutes. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you very much for this um, for this time and for this opportunity. Um, okay, let me just wait for them to be done. Thank you, Spirit of David. Thank you, Spirit of David. And drama department. Thank and drama you. department. Who else? Uh, it seems uh, some powers do want me to talk. <laughs> the first time Pastor Matanabasi came. Zaya Grace, okay. Second time, spirit of Professor David. Yeah, David, 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 yeah. Um, so, Pastor Licky. Ah, ah, ah. Um, uh, I don't even know where to start because uh, I was just that young man that had the fire that just needed gasoline. And God just brought me in contact with this amazing man. Um, 
Pastor Liki is that one person that would chat you up in the midnight at 3 a.m. and would ask, are you awake? And is expecting a reply at 3 a.m. Not because he doesn't know you are sleeping, but just in case, in case you are not sleeping and you have to attend to the needs at that time. Pastor Liki is one person that taught me that excellence cannot be substituted with another thing. It's either, it's, a, it's either it's excellent or it's excellent. And Pastor Leke showed me how to manage my time. But Pastor Leke made me to understand what project management is. Not by theory, but by, by experience. Um, everywhere we have been in Nigeria, even around the world, Pastor Leke is that person that when you, when you check for a definition of multitask in a dictionary, they should just add Leki Adeboye to, to it. And Pastor Leki taught me the act of multitasking. Um, so many people wonder how I do so many things. And they say, oh, Diola, you are a pastor, you are this, you are that. I said, just ask Pastor Leki. However he's doing it, that's where I'm doing it as well. Pastor Leki believed in me when nobody, like I really, when nobody felt that, oh, Adiola could be anything. And Pastor Leke stood his ground and made sure. I remember, I can never forget, four years ago, it was in UK in October, and Pastor Leke called me. It was a WhatsApp call. I can never forget. And Pastor Leke said, you'll be the next assistant pastor of Living Sea Church. I said, no, no way. And today, I'm not just the assistant pastor of that small parish. I'm the area pastor of Living Sea Churches. And it's God through this man. It's this man, this man, this man. Um, today, so many people shout, oh, honorable, honorable. This was the man that threatened the powers that be in Ogun State. Yes, I can say he threatened them. And today I can stand and say, oh, you are Honorable Adiola, is this man. Today I can say, oh, I have so many things. I'm a landlord, I have so many, is this man. There are so many things I cannot say. I cannot say, but Pastor Leke, see, everybody was standing, but me, I'll prostrate. Pastor Leke. You know me, I know, know they shame. I know they shame to, to appreciate you. I know they shame. Oh, Pastor Leke, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I know, I know we still have, you still have more bashing. There's still more this. I know, but to, for me to have stayed till this time with you, I know people have gone, people have come, people have done all sorts, but for me to be here till now, it's not just because of what I do, but because I have a special place in your heart and you have a special place in my heart after more as well so thank you pastor Leke. thank you thank you so very much god bless you i love you with everything and pastor titi as well we fight every time but i can't do it without mimi's food you know you know you know this you know this i love you as well god bless you god bless you thank you thank you for that quick one um I, a lot of you would understand um, what it takes for a man to come out and say these things um for me personally, I've been in contact with my pastor for just a few, a few months. And I want to tell you guys, amazingly, I've, I've been blessed. There was a day I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw my pastor liking my pictures on Instagram. You, you, I had to screenshot that page. If you understand, I have to save it on my phone. You can understand. And in January, it was the first person that gave me a birthday gift unknowingly. And um, that birthday gift was... I will not, for security reasons, like they said the other day, if you've ever received a blue envelope from PLA, I will not say more than that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate, celebrate him if you want to. Celebrate him if you want to. All right, um, quickly, I would like to call on Dr. Ayo Bello to testify quickly. It's important from the celebrant himself for the next two minutes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'll just go straight to the point. Um, the only reason why you hate Liki Adeboye is if you are not on his team. If you are not on his team, you cannot but feel a bit jealous. And so when you see everybody coming out to say, thank you, Pastor Leakey, thank you, Pastor Leakey, thank you, Pastor Leakey, I won't be surprised if there are some people who are saying, I'm in boys now, not them being boys now, and only the people who if you talk can't be that. But the truth is that you cannot take it away from this man. He's an achiever. 
He's someone who sees the future before the future has come. And the truth is that while others are still trying to see the future, he has seized the future already. I want to thank God for his life. And I want to pray that God will continue to shut the mouth of all his enemies in the name of Jesus. <laughs> That's number one. Number two is uh, Pastor Lake Adibwe is a very dear friend to me. He's a brother. We've had the highs and the lows. There are days when we are smiling, but we are fighting. There are, <laughs> there are days when, um, like uh, Pastor Diola said, uh, you get unexpected calls in the middle of the night. I'll just give you an example. And so I was in Layfair. It was about 2 a.m. in the morning. And then I get a call from Pastor Leakey. And Pastor Leakey says, ah, how are you? I say, I'm fine, sir. He says, uh, where are you? I say, I'm in fair. He said, okay, I knew you'd be awake. But I don't want to ask, do you know that there's convention going on in Canada right now? I said, yes, sir. So why is there no PSF meeting in the program? Ah, am, I, <laughs> am I the... He said, but you are the assistant coordinator. Should be all the international chapters are under your office. I just have to let you know, sir, that we're in Canada and there's no PSF here. And the meaning of that is that before they would leave Canada, a PSF program had to happen. I think it was myself, Ayobaye, me, Olumide, somewhere there, and a few other people who had to come up together and say, okay, I started making calls. And by the grace of God, the program was not just a success, it was a resounding success. If you think you can do better, wait till you meet him. He will help you exceed your own expectations. And so on behalf of all the seeds of um, RCCG, worldwide i want to say a very big thank you for being our leader every time they want to throw the hot water you you always use your full body to you know to chest it and um, where well, you have a right to buga so uh, and not because of anything but because you serve a great god he's actually a small boy who has a big god and if you know him well enough you will know that be behind all the bravado is a man of prayer He's a man of consecration. I don't know if you have ever been in a place where he's praying. You'll be shocked. You'll realize that in the true sense of the word, he's humble. He comes out and sounds as, he sounds very confident, sometimes cocky. You may think he's cocky. But if you know that he has settled things in prayer, you will know the reason behind his confidence. So as your friend, personally, thank you for every time you've covered for me. Thank you for every time you've covered me. Thank you for those times when um, I would say maybe I didn't have anybody speaking in my favor. Because personally for me, um, I, in many ways, we are like, how do I mean? I can't take no for an answer. You must get it done. You must do this. You must do that. And because of that, I step on toes a few times. And when those times come... Is him and God, uh, we have caused trouble. Oh, is you that will save us from this wahala? He will like, he'll be like, What happened? This what happened? This what happened? This what happened? Like, uh, this I just uh, okay, leave it to me. We'll sort it out. I thank God for you. Thank God for being a good father. And as I was telling Pastor Titi on uh, Friday, I said, <laughs> I said, our Dobale over 10 years ago. I remember some of us, like um, Damola, Olubide, myself. When we're going to Dobale for Pastor Titi to collect her, we're like, ah, so this will be Dobale. Ah, this is in, ah, a whole loss. Dobale. And the Allah God, they did not even make it easy. They were telling National Connector to be jumped. I'm like, who is this person? But I was telling Pastor Titi on Friday, I said, every Dobale that we Dobale, we are grateful to God that we Dobale that Dobale. Thank you very much, man. God bless you in Jesus' name. Then let me congratulate you. Um, yeah, no, no, I did, I'm not praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah, he he his congratulations. I don't know whatever you did that made him entrust anchoring his 40th birthday thanksgiving to you. But that's the kind of man Pastor Leke is. He takes a chance on people. Thank you very much, sir. On behalf of the MC, sir, we are also grateful. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Um, I, I would have done that privately, but since he has started, I want to say a very big thank you. This has been the very first time I'm holding the microphone in front of everybody here. A lot of people know I do MC, but now, nah, not ever in the presence of people of God that know me, know me. Everybody here know me as a dancer in church, but by the grace of God, we do this too. So, sir, I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you. God bless you for this opportunity. It's been an honor. I'm so, so happy. All right, thank you. Quickly, I'd like to call on uh, Pastor Mrs. Life Oyewumi quickly for the next two minutes to take us... Please, I, I, will, I, will, I will be very strict on time now, so because we have a lot of people on the list. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Daddies and mommies, brothers and sisters in the house. And I'm very excited because 
I'm Fasolike's first daughter. <laughs> and um, I bless God for the life of Fasolike. I mean, everybody has said so many things, but Pastor is a man that sees greatness. Even before you see greatness in yourself, he sees it, he nurtures it to bring it to life. And he ensures that you succeed and excel. If I'm opportune to talk about pastor anywhere, I will keep saying this, saying this everywhere I go, to him physically and everyone I meet. Pastor is my pastor, my boss, and a divine helper in all areas of life for me. And I'm excited to, uh, to be blessed under his ministration. I used to call him pastor, as everybody calls him, but to be a minister under his... Uh, to be a minister in this church is divine. And I want to say a very big thank you to Pastor Leke for accepting me and my family <laughs> for being, you know, I remember, sorry, just this particular one. I remember when myself and my husband were still, you know, uh, we're still cutting. And uh, I went on a work journey. I got back. I, I missed him so much. I wanted to see him. So I sent Pastor Leke a message. I said, um, Pastor, I want to tell you something. He said, what? He said, you know, he said, what have you done? I said, no, I'm about to do. I said, Pastor, see, I've missed Femi. I've not seen him for a while. If my daddy called, you just tell him that, yes, I'm with you. <laughs> and he said, eh, wait, 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 start again, start again, start again. I was like, wait, Pastor Lake. I want to see Femi. I've missed him. I just want to say hello. But I want to tell my daddy that I want to come and see Pastor Lake. So in case, I don't know if I was going to call him. But in case he calls you that, she would just say, yes, yes. And then I just told you nothing. Of course, not, we didn't do anything, but you know. I <laughs> know, oh, just to see each other, like another. So I'm still is my is my backbone, is my support. He's <laughs> always there for me from my graduation, convocation to my marriage. Like, he was the chairman at my wedding. Pasolike is just everything. Then, until I gave it, God, my delivery. Pasolike did a video call. <laughs> I'm so happy and I bless God for his life and I pray God will continue to uphold him and to Mr. Deboye who has been accepting all of us. <laughs> we want to say a big thank you, Ma, for being our mother, for accepting us into your life, into your home. I pray the Almighty God will continue to keep you and uphold you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, Mr. Deboye. God bless you. I'm so grateful. God bless you, Pastor Lake. Ah, yes, he, was a, he gave me money first. <laughs> And I was going for my delivery. I'm just so excited. Pastor, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. All right. So quickly, I have um, two more names on my list. I have um, Pastor Larry Oyebola. Is he still around? Oyebola. All right. Sorry for that. I'm very, very sorry, sir. It's not intentional. Please forgive me, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not given to speeches, so forgive me. might not be coherent, but I'll try. Um, but everybody speaks so well of uh, nice things, nice things, but I know we didn't start off nicely, you know. It was, <laughs> it was some very hard knocks of... But I guess um, there's just something that stands... Pastor Leke out, and it's just that heart of service, I guess. Um, and I guess perhaps that is also his love language. Um, you know, that drive just to serve. Um, and I think it was, that was how we strike, uh, struck the first chord, and I guess that is what has been up until now. Um, yeah, a lot has been said, and I guess not far from what I have experienced. But more than anything else, um, I just see someone who um, is given to get things done. Um, Sometimes the kind of things that they teach you in business school, you know, that um, the, the kind of thing you have in exceptional leaders who are not necessarily within the confines of convention, you know. So, uh, you know, several things you need to look out for these and that in different people before you give them responsibility check their track record, what have they done before. But here is a man who, he throws things at people. I guess he just takes a chance on everyone. So he's a great risk taker, uh, if that speaks well. But that's one of the things that I've seen. Um, not necessarily knowing who you are, where you're from, and all of that. He just commit things into your hand. And then allows you to fail. You know, like, 
you know, you use one experience to gain another level of confidence. And as you excel at that, it throws another thing at you. If you do it well, you keep climbing. Um, and then I believe that um, the same thing is what is coming to, you, to him. Because, you know, God is just very uh, open to all. It's, it's a function of what you give, you get. And, and I believe that's why he also has quite a lot of people who also commit quite a lot to him, believing that he will deliver. Uh, my prayer has always been that you will never be too heavy for the hand that is carrying you. I mean, that has always been my prayer for you. Um, and I, I, I keep praying it that you will never be too heavy for the hand that is carrying you. Um, I believe, by the grace of God, every one of us will be here to fulfill what God's mandate is. I've said it to you in secret. I'm saying it in the open. This is the work. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. This is the work. And it has fully now come to fruition. Because at 40, at 30, a man gets a mandate. All right? At 40, is men to have shown proof of his work. So if you go back, I don't know where you started PSF. But I know if you search scriptures, people always get their mandate at the age of 30. And not 40. 40 is the deceit of the Western world to make us believe that life begins at 40. 30 is the real age of commission. And I believe at 40, the work should now become more profound and then we should begin to see. I'm happy that we are seeing a lot of LSC all over the world. But like I said, this is now the proof of the work. And I pray that God will supply all resources. Men will be available. Finance will be available. There will be access that will be available. And God himself will make the work easy in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. All right, so I'll be having um, a very um, special person to... He, this person was the best man of our dear um, pastor in person of um, Mr. Olumide. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes. So we're going to be doing this quickly in the next one minute. Because we still want to dance. All right, sir. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, first, I want to say um, on behalf of the AG of, of the Americas, um, Pastor James Fidel, he wanted me to express my his greetings to Pastor Lake Adeboy and say happy birthday and the executive board. So I want to make sure at least I'm able to make it back to America without someone stopping me. But back to, to the point, um, I think there are two words that I would state of Pastor Lake. He's a refiner and he's a man of honor. I'll start with the word refiner. He's a man that will take you from what you are and refine you to what you're going to be. Before you believe in yourself, he's already seen what you can actually be. He's someone that doesn't, he's not scared to tell you, hey, you should do X, Y, Z because I think it would be great for you. Um, the man I am today is mainly because of him and his wife. And I also want to say thank you to his wife as well because to be with someone for over a decade and he's still successful is because you have a great wife that's helping you. I think a lot of times, please everyone clap for her. Please, please, please. Everyone sees him but no one sees the person that's helping him behind. Everyone sees him running around with the geo, but no one sees the person that's holding the home. Everyone sees him doing PSF. You're with the geo, you're with Mom and Joe, but who's the person that you can come home at peace, right? Because if the home was not at peace, he will not be successful in what he's doing. So thank you so much, my for everything you do, Ma. The man of honor part. <laughs> The man of honor part, um, if Pastor Lique gives you his word, no matter what happens, he will fulfill that word. He is fantastic at that. But he also expects you to also keep his, your word and the same thing. And he's quick to tell you, hey, you said you were going to do X, Y, Z, you failed. He does, he's not, if you know Pastor Lique very well, he's not someone that sugarcoats things. He's very raw. Um, it's, an easy, it's not an easy thing to accept sometimes because you're thinking, man, this man is yelling all the time. I feel the same. But that's just who he is. And I think sometimes you need someone that's not going to sugarcoat things to you, that's just going to speak bluntly to you and push you. So on your 40th birthday, sir, I would like to say congratulations. I know that this is just the bottom of where you're going to go to. I know, of course, um, like I think Daddy Odeshala said, the reality is this. A lot of us look at you as a global phenomenon. 
because you're someone that changes the game for young adults for Christianity worldwide. There's a lot of people that follow you, even in America, and be like, oh, have you met Pastor Adibwe's son? Who? I'm like, how do you even know him? They might not know Pastor Adibwe, but they know the son that says things that is active, that is active in, his, in what's called in pushing the agenda for young adults. So thank you so much for always fighting for young adults. Grateful, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, quickly, I would like to call on a, um, a brother from up north and person of um, Mr. Ibrahim Emmanuel. Please, a round of applause for him quickly. Pastor Ibrahim Emmanuel. Thank you, sir. Assalamu alaikum, young one. When I saw Mugodima, Ubangiji, the only one, and look at Chenda Yabamu. You know, the praises were going on. I just discovered that. I had to whisper it to Pastor Lake and say, hey, it's like somebody's marginalizing somebody now. Because I discovered that there was no house song at all. <laughs> Amen. So, Malang, Marabalali, I want to bless God for the life of my friend, my brother, my boss. Uh, you heard him talking about missions, uh, asking about the number of parishes we've planted by the grace of God. Uh, the truth is that even he wouldn't want me to say that, but he is one of those persons that want to encourage you from a secret, himself, the family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And at times, if we're in some crazy places like that, and you're like, oh God, oh God, what next? You don't see a text coming in, and that makes the whole of you know, it's just become the game changer. Uh, I want to say thank you so much for your tenacity. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your resilience. The truth is that he is indeed, like the parish is called, bridge, the bridge. He is actually the bridge between there and that very place. And sometimes if we want to navigate through some path in life or in ministry, we leverage on him and he has never failed us like someone said again when you look at him at first uh the first you know and he's not smiling you're like god how do i how do i say what i want to say but when you come much more closer you discover that he is so soft easy going ever ready to encourage ever ready to correct one so make it up I know I'm safe. That's the bottom line. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Quickly, I'd like to call on Pastor Adewale Shodeke. Am I right? All right, please. Um, Pastor Adewale Shodeke, please. A round of applause for him as he comes forward. We've had amazing people come and speak today. It's, a, it's been an honor, sincerely. Thank you, sir. Wow. I'm surprised. But now that I have the microphone, uh, do anybody know a lawyer here? Because Olumide already took all my speech, which I'm thinking, if now that, you know, you already say most of the things, but, um, Pastor Leke, I thank God for your life. For the first time, I don't, I mean, I haven't been to Nigeria for so long. For the first time when you say, I'm lawyer, like, okay. Because I never heard of him back in U.S. And he kept on saying it, I mean, then I get into saying it too. Because I'm a, I'm a military guy. And, uh. I've been in the military for over 20 years where we met. And uh, one thing I love about Pastor Leke is, everybody has said it, when he wants something done, and I'm like, Pastor Leke, have you been in the military before? I say no. But I think somebody told me that you almost went to defense. <laughs> because the way is doing things that's the way the military do things we have to prep whatever we have to do okay my name is Wale Shodeke I'm one of the protocol team for daddy geo in US 
And before we do anything, we have to prep it. We have to even dry run before we even do it. We have to dry run the place. We have to make sure there is no obstacle, there is nothing. And he loved that so much. And the way he came in, I'm like, wow, I love this job. And anytime I'm not in either Iraq or Afghanistan in the 20, I mean, in the 2001 or 2018 or 16, I'm always there. And everything he decided, I mean, he decided he wants us to do. He said, oh, uncle, this is what we're going to do. Before I even say it, I'm like, okay, this is what we know. Oh, okay, once you already want it done, this is it. And I'm happy that I'm not just protocol. The family love me. The Adeboye family love me. And I really appreciate that. And God will continue to enlarge your coast. God will continue to bless you. Blessing of God will never depart from Adeboye's family. And what God is doing in your life will be so big that everybody in the world will hear about it and they will be giving glory to, to God. Thank you for giving me the honor to say a little word about you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. And, um... I want to believe we've been having an amazing time. We're going to go into the dance, dance, dance in about um, two minutes so we can get set. We're going to do the dance, dance, dance in about two minutes. But I'd like to call on this person, um, Miss Bukolami Oladunjoye. Oladunjoye. Please, wherever she is, please. Your attention is needed. Where is she? I know she has been around. All right. Please celebrate her as she comes forward. Celebrate her as she comes forward. I should probably give this um, testimony facing the screen. <laughs> um, where should I start? The way and manner that I met Pastor Leke is quite <laughs> um, hilarious. At the same time, very... Um, um, it speaks of the testimony of how God just intertwined the life of Pastor Leke with the life of so many of us to launch us into things that we did not even think we would um, end up into backtrack to um i just freshly graduated university of lagos and if you know me you know that i like is lines upon lines precept upon precept so i had a career roadmap that last that was supposed to last for 10 years i how i designed by 2020 this is what i'm doing this is what i want to do and also I, I had what i want to do and all that and none of them <laughs> um specified that i was going to end up uh, working in rccg in fact what he did not know is that I was already one leg in um, Covenant Nation and one leg in RCG. But I knew that um, for me, RCG was a Covenant church. It was not just because, you know, we are born and bred here. It's because, you know, God has planted our feet here. I remember that it was during lockdown. I don't know what I was in. Um, I can do in Sister Life's house. And there's this room um, on, um, on, first, on the ground floor that you know when you come in through the gates and you walk past if the window is open you can see who is in so i was i was just on the bed and i think i was i don't know what i was doing maybe pressing my phone and then pastor Leke walking walked in i didn't even know pastor Leke was you know here and all that so i was just on the bed and the next thing i heard was um was an name breakthrough came in i was like pastor Leke is here i'm like pastor Leke is here how that's how I went. I didn't even know he saw me. It was later that I realized that he saw me in the room. And then from there, you know, things just started to happen. And, you know, um, before now, I'm a very quiet person. You really know me. I know they, um, I don't like to, I'm not, I'm not great with human interaction. <laughs> but after missing Pastor Leke Adeboye, 
you know, when the bridge now came about and they said that I was going to head the welfare and follow-up department, I knew that it was a follow-up, it was a setup. And I looked him straight in the eye and said, you did this on purpose. But from um, about a year ago till now, I told him on his birthday and I'm like, I, I, I cannot fathom how much I've expanded in that regard because, you know, of just working with you. Pastor is the person that he will give you a tax that you know that you don't have the ability to um, deliver on. Then, without, without telling you what to do, he will tell you what to do. You know how Pastor Lekia will talk and it is left for you to decode. And then, in, in, those, in those messages, he has told you what you, want, what you need to execute it. And, and I think for me, what is most amazing is how he will support you to do that task. Then at delivery, it, it hands off like he was never there. So um, I want to bless God for your life. Um, I've indeed seen, you know, progress changes in my life. And um, one of the things that God told me after working here and feeling that, you know, I'm enclosed is that he said, um, when you feel that you are restrained, you are preserved, said ask the candle and the jar that once the candle is no longer in, in the jar when when it burns it burns and then it spreads out but when um the candle is in the jar it is preserved and its lifespan is expanded and that's what he has done for me by making sure that i remain in our ccg and it was your life that facilitated that and i just want to bless god for your life you keep being that pillar of support <laughs> you know you know, in this task, I know that I've complained to you more than anybody else. I'm like, I'm not doing. <laughs> and you just be like, okay, you're not doing. And then the next message you see, so we need to do this. I'm like, I just told this man that I'm not doing again. And, um, you know, that dogged support, you know, just, you know, I'm um, engineer our art and we see ourselves doing great things just because you allow us to be great. I pray that you will never be small in Jesus' name. You will never bear small seeds in Jesus' name. Um, your seed will be greater than you are in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Pastor Leke. Your life has indeed blessed our lives. If that applaud is for Jesus, then it's, it is pretty small. You can make it louder. You can make it louder. Okay, let's do it like this. If you want to clock the age of 40, just keep putting your hands together for Jesus. If you want to celebrate your 40th year, Keep putting your hands together. If you would like your child to celebrate 40, keep clapping. If you are happy for what God is doing in the life of our boss, keep clapping. If you are grateful for what he's doing in the life of our boss, keep clapping. If you are happy on his behalf, keep clapping. Don't stop clapping. Now you can add a little bit of noise to it. You can make some noise. You can make some noise. Express joy. Express happiness. You can make it louder. <laughs> 